I think the relationship we have with our why can feel a lot like the relationship we have with our clothes. We can wake up one day and our clothes may no longer fit. We may no longer like them, or the fashion trends may have shifted. We have to make decisions. Which clothes don't feel right anymore? Which clothes still feel right? Which clothes make me truly feel like myself? Are they perfect as they are, or do they need a bit of hemming? How might I benefit from updating my wardrobe? Do I want to introduce new color palettes or styles? And do I want to update some of my clothes to match current trends? The process of articulating your why can feel like eternally returning to the changing room to try on different clothes. It is an iterative process that takes tedious work. And once you find clothes that you like, it doesn't guarantee that six months from now you'd still like them. You may find yourself back in that changing room trying on more clothes. I found myself in that metaphorical changing room recently when I updated my why message. I had to decide which clothes I wanted to discard, which to keep, and which to add. I had to reflect on how I have changed, what new thoughts I've adopted, what I care most about now, how my mission and message have crystallized, and which words might be better and clearer. This process also felt like bringing clothes that no longer suit me to goodwill. I'm not very good at this in real life with real clothes and with these metaphorical ones. It was painful to say goodbye to the previous language that I spent hours crafting the last time I did this. I was really afraid of the change and the potential loss that comes with it. What if I lost the essence of my message? What if it doesn't hit the same way? Or worse, what if what I had before was indeed better and I made it worse simply by changing it? I recognize that this fear is normal, and I try to shift my focus to what I might gain from updating this wardrobe, and I hit delete. I could be totally wrong. Maybe there's no gain ahead. That's a risk I feel confident in making because I trust the iterative process. It makes me feel like that I'm evolving and growing, which is always a good thing. When's the last time you updated your wardrobe? How about your why? Maybe it's time for both. My name is Tiffany Chang, and this is Connected as CEO, where I'm curious about ideas from other industries and how they apply to us as arts leaders. If these ideas resonate with you, please consider signing up in the link below to receive an email with each new blog post sent directly to your inbox. Thank you, and have a great day.